Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 77? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I don't know. A pay as a one row. Uh, the Bloodborne run. Hi, Laura. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm amused. Amused? Amused. Why are you amused? I've literally just looked up because um, we've got like just toys everywhere in the front room um, where we'd moved a few things to set up to record. Uh, we'd left Violet's little doll in her little high chair, just sat in the middle of the room. It's just looking at us, judging us. Judging, judging. you. It judges you, Laura. It doesn't judge me. Violet's doll likes me. Really? No. <laughs> uh, I'm just checking my gems out for maximum bang. Uh, okay. Best bang for your butt? It's a durability one. That's fine. Uh, I can't repair my weapon because I don't have any souls or whatever it is they're called in this one. Why don't you go um, dungeon? To the Chalice Dungeon? Come dungeon. Oh, it's not urgent enough that I need to go to the Come Dungeon. Not have you got close. papers and shit? Oh, I've just... If he's beasting. Look, I've just... I wasn't paying enough attention to... No, you being, never do! You're getting judged by you never gold. do. You never do. You, it's the worst... Got a layer two. Yeah, I'm so terrible that I sit here and do this with you. Yeah, I'm going to have some tea, which I made at the start of the previous episode, so a week ago. <laughs> mm, still warm somehow. Mm. Mm. Usually you're supposed to talk when I'm drinking and what? fill in the silence. No, will you give me something to talk about then for once? I'm always giving you things to talk about. One time. What? <laughs> it's not an always, it's one time. Uh, okay, uh, tell everyone about what TV we've been watching. The One Piece. Trash okay. people. Oh, I lie, it's not just One Piece. It's One Piece, and then uh, every so often uh, we're back on Idolish 7 as well. Yeah, new season. Love those boys. New, new boys, new, new problems, new drama. We're waiting for the bit about the next band to kick in because. That's you know, coming soon, we think. Right, now let's see if this does anything. Lots of drama and a couple of backstory episodes. Now we know most people's backstories. Um, so yeah, that's fun again. Uh, yeah, other than that, we've pretty much been binging One Piece. Because uh, we suck. Um, we now have an extra character on the ship. Yep, a skeleton. Um, there has been some sad episodes. Oh, you were not, actually full tears. Not, not, not boat sad. Skeleton uh, sad. Skeleton. Ow. Okay, uh, that's not bad for a first. Let's, Laura, let's, look, 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 what? look, look. Okay. Not bad for a first real run. Um, we're obviously watching so much that she's now when the intro starts. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone's face lights up and goes, ah. And then when it gets to kind of like the talky backstory the bit, sepia that, bit that they always have at the beginning of the episode, she knows the name of the pirate. Yeah, I said, "Who's that?" It's Roger. 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 And now she'll now she'll say, "Roger." Who's that? Roger. Roger. I was like, oh, so happy. Oh. Again, she, she still likes Luffy. Luffy's still her favourite. Yeah, except for when you go, "Who's your favourite?" <gasps> and you and you go, "Is it Luffy?" She goes, "No." no. Is it Sanji? No. Is it Zoro? No. Is it Usopp? Usopp. <laughs> Usopp. Usopp. She can say Usopp, and I've never been prouder. And, and then, but she does it that exact same routine. Woofa duffa do. Every time. So he's got no face. Can you see? It's he's not got that no she's changed. Yeah, I get that. It's not that she changes who it favours. Always, it gets to Usopp, and she goes Usopp. Usopp. <laughs> Usopp. Very good. She's getting better again. We've got to for Halloween dress her up as Chopper or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. Or, <laughs> or mini Squeezy Luffy. When he's Luffy, sorry. When he's run out of juice and he goes all small. Um, here's a thing she's learned how to do. She's learned to poke Daddy in the belly button in the bath and say, <laughs> she's, Belly button. She's starting to like explore body parts and stuff. So mm. she's, within the last couple of weeks, realised she has a belly button. So she'd be quite happy and then every so often she would stop dead in her tracks, pull her t-shirt up and poke herself in the belly button. Um, but yeah, she's Very also realised that Daddy has a belly button. Daddy and, does have a belly button. Uh, and just, just, just jabs him. 
in the belly button. She jabs me so hard. Is, it's, like I said, I'm more than happy for her to do belly button stuff because the other thing she started is, is realising she's got lady parts. Um, yeah. That's not good. It's not good. It's bad. It's bad. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. And when she's had a poo and you take a nappy off, like, no! Don't touch! Don't put your hands in everything! It's poops everywhere if you're not, you know, it poops everywhere. Yeah. She's generally quite good, but every now and then no, like, okay. no, 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 no. she's she's been where, where she was um, sick last week, mm. and she was really off sorts. It was really weird, and now she's gone back to just her usual chatty kind of books everywhere, just just happy self. Mm. In fact, she was. I was trying to change the bed covers earlier, and she was having a right old time just running up and down on the bed, and then just falling to her bum. And it was the funniest shit. Our baby likes to fall over. Um, she, I don't know if I told everyone. Did that hit his got... face? Did I hit him with that attack? Yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't expect to hit Maybe. him with that particular uh, um, wolf. She's still playing with her little sink she has in the kitchen. She loves putting her tap on and then just running off. Sorry. Well, I slowed down to heal and that's when I died. And I got rapid poisoned. Oh no! Even though I'm dead. Whoops. Uh, can you tell the, the people what she did today? With her fire truck. Oh, um, she was playing with her fire truck um, and she was making sounds as she was pulling the little characters out. Now, there's three like slots for characters in this fire truck. Um, so I'm like, well, who's this? And she made a sound it's like, that sounded like Ben. So that one's Ben. And then the next one is, who's that? And it was Daisy. Was it? Daisy. And then the last one's Harold. Harold, and he's the old man who drives it. Who drives the fire truck. I would die for Harold. Um, and then Paddy didn't quite believe me when he came home. He held up the toys and who's this? Mm. Who's that man? It was good shit. Who's this? And she goes, Harold. And he just died on the floor. So. It was pretty great. I mean, she can do that quite happily, but she still won't say. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Won't say, please, daddy. It's still. She'll walk up to you and go, please. Please, mummy. Please, mummy, or thank you, mummy. It's like, no, it's daddy. Oh, that didn't hit. That's horseshit. Can I hit you, sir? Not quite. Ugh. Oh, please let me away. Oh, well. The stamp is tricky to see. Yeah. I mean, all his moves. Because locking on to him is difficult because it, this is a camera fight again. Like Loran Dank Beast. This is a camera <laughs> fight. I can lock on and be able to move around him, or I can lock off but then miss him. Mm -hmm. But have better ability to get out. Mm -hmm. ah, I don't know his moves well enough to lock off yet. But yeah. Basically, this, this whole episode, by the way, is going to be me just feeling this out. I'm not going to make mm -hmm. any progress. I mean, um, so other than taking care of baby, mm -hmm. uh, I have been... Taking got, care of baby. Start, uh, I had a commission come up from my craft stuff the other oh. day, and it was a rush one, so I actually sat Tell down Tell people what the commission is. Uh, it's a leathery chain. Which is what mayors use. It's, it's like a, a, a mayoral chain. Um, oh, with. Um, but, like, like, you can see, like pictures like Henry VIII, you'll see him with these big, basically big men's chains. Um, and oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm, oh, a come on. that's in like a Where was I? time, so they're like, I left it to my husband to sort out, and he didn't. And he Can husband you help? did. Um, so, I will, uh, I, I did that. It was nice just actually getting around to actually sitting down and doing Doing something. Something. Yeah. Um... Headless. Um, other than that, I've been bloodletting beast. Still trying to get hold of Lego bits to finish off some of my Lego sets. Yes. That's about it really. Yeah. Uh, You've been playing lots of new games. Oh, I have. Yeah, I picked up a few new things, and uh, oh shit. What? Well, he's not vulnerable to either of the poisons. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a look. Um, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I picked up a couple more things in sales, and I've been poking away at stuff. Uh, I played... What have I played recently? Uh, I just finished a game called... Based on a Brad recommendation, and I've been looking at it for ages because the visuals appealed to me for a long time. 
uh, Far Lone Sails, which is a sort of uh, very, oh, it's not a platform, I don't know why I'm saying platform, you move around and jump to solve your problems. Oh! Uh, it would have, from what I saw, it was more of a, a puzzle S. Yeah. George, have you ever puzzled You're Dave? a little guy and you've got this big land barge with these big wheels that you have to keep powered up with energy. Mm. Um, and it's got little me mechanisms like you've got sails that you can get. And basically you're just progressing across a dry, knackered, ruined land trying to piece together. Not necessarily even a story because I think it was quite very light for a story. There was stuff you could see around but the actual plot half of it didn't really happen till the end. And there's nothing verbal. It's just you look at pictures and see what's on the walls and stuff and... It was fine. Uh, but yeah, basically just like puzzle solving and keeping an engine powered and, and just gently moving through this horrible world. Yeah, every so often you'd be like, I like this, I like this. And you got to the end, you're like, yeah, it's okay. I didn't love it, is the thing. I liked it, I didn't I think love you, it. I think you got oh, pissed, what? pissed off that at the end you had to look something up and you're like, I, I did. Yeah, did. Why, is, why is this not on more obvious? It was a little bit unobvious, yeah. There was a bit at the end where, I'm not going to spoil it, but I had to do something I didn't think I had to do. I thought I'd be fine as I was, and I had to do something very specific. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I died like four times. Like, this is the first time I've had any trouble in this whole game. And it's right at the end, and I don't get why. I, it felt a little bit unintuitive. Looking back, there's a lot more busy work than I think I usually would put up with. Mm. Running and picking up boxes and throwing them in the generator. Mm. Run and pick up boxes. And you're stopping every five minutes to put more boxes in. Um, or to put out fires because you've overrun the generator too long. Or to let the steam off because it gets steamy. Um, but generally speaking, it's good, and I picked it up for about a fiver, and I don't regret it at all. Yeah. Why do I always dodge? He can't hit me there. Uh, okay, uh, I had a go at something called... Piss off! The long journey home. Mm -hmm. Like I'm doing here, to death. Um, again, the long journey home, which I must have picked up ages ago, because I already owned it. Um, another sale went live on the yeah. store, and which is why we always poke through. Um, and it is a... It feels like a very PC sort of game, which I think is why I haven't clicked with it. Uh, basically, you are commanding an expedition mm -hmm. to Alpha Centauri, the first of its kind, and it goes wrong, and you go through the warp, and you end up somewhere wrong. And then you have to get back by planet hopping, and going planet to planet, and getting materials, and putting them on your ship. There's no actual people, like, controlling. You could just control the ship or the lander. Yeah. And the lander part, so you go to a planet, you say, I'm going to land here. And then it's like a, it's very much the, the old friggin' Spectrum or Atari game, Lunar Lander, where you're just using thrust to get your ship down carefully. And that's fine. I don't think I want to play a whole game with that. Um, the, the space, well, that was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Um, the space stuff was cool. Uh, you basically fly around these little systems like by adding thrust to taking it away. And you can see a little curve in front of you of mm. where you're going to go. And you can lock into orbits around planets if you get your curve just right. Yeah. That was cool. I enjoyed that part. But I don't think I've got it in me to play an entire game of it. Yeah. Uh, but it was visually very nice. The loading wasn't ideal. Yeah. There's a lot of loading. Um, oh, I'm out of fire paper. That's fine. I am I am come to terms with the fact I'm not getting anywhere this episode, so I'm just I'm not gonna even bother wasting resources. I'm just okay. gonna keep going. Um, just practice. That's all this is. Uh, practice that doesn't count because I wasn't paying attention. You also played a bit of Yakuza. Played a little bit more Yakuza. Uh, had a fun boss fight against uh, uh, a fat pervert. Um, Gui! I don't know why that move always scares me so. No, why go for it? Why go for it? Um, Three. Three hits and get out on that one. Because you finished something up and went to Yakuza and then... I finished up uh, a game I'm not allowed to talk about. Oh. Because it might be related to something with the channel. You didn't just say that. Well, now you all know. I might believe that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I finished something up, which is what's taken up a lot of my time, uh, getting that done, which I have. Um, I must have played other stuff. I'm playing Jump King. That's still been fun. Yeah. Dipping into that every 20 minutes, for 20 minutes here and there. Not doing any better at it. I'm uh. fucking... God, I've, I've hit, I think... Possibly a ceiling of skill. I'm in a little side area where you could you can't walk around. But you around. said that about Splunky, and then you'll get a run where you just end up going way further, and you're like, "How have I ended up here?" And then I'll never do it again for another six months. Yeah. So. God, Splunky is that ultimate like. Ah, go on, one more. Oh. 
but yeah, no, we, get out, we, get out, we, get out, get out. We have discussed it now. We are going to start looking into putting some net, uh, name down to some places for. Wow. Five. Because if we're going to play Elden Ring, I'd like to play it oh, yeah. the best way possible. Uh-huh. Um, and yes, it is coming out on the PS4, and it will probably be fine. It will probably be more than okay. And if we can't get one by then, I guess that's what I'll do. Mm. And it's going to be cross by, isn't it? So it's not going to matter. Hope. Well, that's fine. It's fine. Um, but I'd like one. But again, just getting hold of one. I mean, everyone watching this knows it's still really hard to even know when stock comes up. And by the time you hear about it, it's already gone. Mm. Uh, and the scalpers. I think, I don't know if the scalpers are still a problem, but because they made it so hard to get one, a lot of regular people are still trying really hard. It's not that point where you can just go into a shop and buy one yet. God. Um, please, sir, give me an open. So, yeah, so still. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to set it up around all the shit around our TV. You were all like, let's unplug some of the consoles. And I'm like, I bet the moment you unplug it, I want to play a game that's only on that console. Yeah. Oh! That's how I do. Or I'll think of a challenge run that requires the PS2. Oh! Heal and... Uh-oh. Oh! God, this is so hard! I can't read what he wants to do. I mean, I think we can get a move well, on. Right now, she's a bit older, be able Oof. to put some of the consoles back on the shelves as opposed to. Oh, to that was fake. Under the TV. That was. Did you see that? You punched me while I was on the floor. That's nonsense. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, I just. Just because it got really close to the screen and all I could see was this red shiny thing, and I'm like, where's he got lipstick on? And now I can't unsee lipstick. What? Okay, let's die again and see what you mean. Like, let's go die again and see what Laura thought she saw. <laughs> Uh, in we go. Um, but yeah, so but the house comes first. We need to sort out a few more yeah. things with the house. I, I'm not spending more than the asking price for a PS5. No. I won't do it. I just won't do it. No, no, no. We'll get it through. I agree. You scalpers can go fuck yourselves. I'm getting more of tea. Thank you very much. Now, I'll. Bump off. I'm trying to find it somewhere I can get a load of points. Oh my god. Like Do we still even have a game reward card? Don't know. I don't carry one anywhere. We'll probably still find up somewhere. We used to. They, they, used, they charge Man. now for it, don't they? What? They charge for it. Do they? No, that's pre orders. Oh. Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't been in there. In, if they charge for their reward card, they, that's, not, that's the opposite of a reward. Yes. No, game isn't what it is anymore. So uh, the Americans watching, of which I know there are a few, you have your game stops. We have game. Uh, there used to be a few more places. We used to have Electronics Boutique years ago. We had Game Station. We've got CEX, but it's more of a second-hand place. Yeah, that Game is the only real dedicated video game retailer we've got. Yeah. Um, brick and mortar, you can go in and find one in most town centres. Like It's the only one that's left. And most of them now, the one that's in our town centre, is basically a place you can go and play Rocket League and Fortnite and yeah, buy some Funkos and toys. A, the games yeah, in there are whatever awful. Whatever the latest releases are, yeah, a load of Funko Pops and T-shirts. Um, and yeah, oh. a, a whole load of there you go. gaming Show, show face, show face. Oh, he stood somewhere awkward. Um, and that's basically it. You're T-shirts. Like, oh. like all the, because it used to be, again, the, the, the pre-owned section used to be really good. Used to Go live in that pre-owned section. You used to be able to find unusual things. They used to have good deals, like with their bundles and stuff. Do you know what it was? It wasn't even that it was like the four for a tenner stuff. You'd buy more expensive stuff mm. occasionally as well. But like, that, that like pre-owned section was, we would go there every time yeah. we were in town and we would sometimes I mean the well, one across you, the road from me knew. at uni I, they knew me by first name basis you knew that if say a game was £30 you could get a fiver off mm. and get it second hand it was great cool fine mm. but then like what, even when I was working there we were being undercut by our own website yeah. so people were going why should I buy 
it's second hand when I can get it new from you, let alone Amazon. And they just couldn't compete with even their own online store, let alone any of the online retailers. So people were like, why should we bother? Mm. They'd already bought up um, Game Station. Game Station. Point. Yeah. And Game Station at the time, again, had more odd things and that are retro much better stuff. Retro. Yeah, the it retro was, section. You basically, amazing. you could go in and trade in anything and they were kind of staffed by people who cared proper nerds yeah um, and you could find like snes games in yes there. and yeah, you it, would it, pay it had, out the ass for them but game then bought them up didn't know what to do with a lot of their stock sold it off for nothing yeah and then because the shops there was no reason to go to the shops because even like like portsmouth there was two games and a game station so they, they closed all the game stations. You know, there was yeah. no... Yeah, it was just... It was awful. It was, yeah. It was, and then, obviously, now they're all like, oh, retro games. It's like, why didn't you... Yeah, had? you had this and you gutted it, you idiots. Yeah. Um, game really just dropped the ball. But yeah, so, but yeah, if I could get it from like Tesco and get a buttload of points that I can then spend on, on Christmas On your Tesco food. corrupt card. Yeah, that would be cool. Um... Oh, no! Or like Argus, when they do their spend £50 and get a £5 voucher. Cool, I'm spending £500. Oh. £50 voucher I can spend on some kids' toys. Yeah. So the PS5 is for us. The, the points we get are for her. Yeah. That's fine. And if I get a voucher, I'll be like, yeah, cool, I'll spend it on some Everybody gets a present. Kids' games that I probably wouldn't buy new, because mm. I don't... I, yeah, a lot of our... Stuff Baby we get bits. on Facebook. Yeah, we yeah. tend to get second because just kids stuff is so expensive. You like and if they you, grow out of it. If she doesn't like it, then what? Mm. We've been really lucky that most of the stuff we picked up she likes. Mm. Uh, like her kitchen and her shop and her new till register and her. Oh, Laura, what? I don't think we've told the people online about her um her new kitchen toy. I swear we told about it last time. I don't think we did. Tell it anyway. Okay. Doesn't matter. Well, uh, the last time I went uh, out shopping with Baby, uh, we stopped off at b and M. I don't know what the American equivalent is. Target? Maybe? One of those kind of everything stores where you can get a lot of different yeah. stuff and it's not expensive. Um, and they had uh, like some offers on their toys. It was like two for 20 pounds. Okay, I'll have a quick look, see what they had. Um, and I'd seen online that they did little plastic jars with plastic food in but on the outside there's labels that have like like oh it's, it's corn four and then they've actually got four corn in the jar color lid that yeah. matches broccoli too and then there's like 10 of them so it's actually really good for counting they've got the dexterity of getting things in and out of jars and using the lids and it goes with all her shop stuff because she's then got plenty of food it's the correct scale um and it, they had a jar of broccoli and she loves broccoli so oh baby loves broccoli got... one of the other toys then I saw was uh, a little sink where you could do like little washing up of like it has some plastic plates and cups and stuff but the tap actually turns on and runs um, now we've been having problems where because we kind of taught her to wash her hands oh, anytime that we're was in the kitchen well. at the sink she expects to be lifted up to wash her to hands to wash her hands but she doesn't want to stop washing them. And she'll so reach up and she'll go, You're yeah. stood there mm. having to hold her and she's of the age now where she's fucking heavy. And she likes water. She likes running her hand She in loves it. water. So I got this um, and it's it's currently now sat in the paddling pool in the kitchen because she was <laughs> yeah. making so much mess with it. Um, but she loves her little sink. Um, and yeah, she'll run up and she'll do a little bit of washing up or she'll be like, wash hands. And then she'll just run off. Mm. And then she'll go back to it. Um, Push hand. But yeah. Um, so I you. so I literally, I've, I've got the toys and I like, and she's looking at me. So I put the sink on her lap. I'm like, oh, sink. And every time we pass somebody else while we're going around the shop, she'd shout, sink, at them. So that was fun. And then we put the, car, the toys back in the car and we had to go into the supermarket very quickly. We had like some milk and bits and pieces to pick up. 
Uh, I was running out of room underneath the buggy because I, could, I can't do buggy and a basket and whatever. So it's mm. like, right, I'll just shove it under the, the buggy and pull it out when I get to the hill. So I picked up a bu- box of bran flakes because we needed some of them because that's her favourite breakfast. And I gave them to her to hold and we got to the counter and I tried to give them to cashier and she started bawling her eyes out because I took away her bran flakes. Yeah. Any other kid, it would be, I took away her toy, or I took away their sugary sweets or something. No. My baby likes bran flakes. I took away oh, her no. bran flakes, and she got upset. So, immediately when we got home, I had to bust out a bowl of bran flakes for my baby. My baby who wanted bran flakes. Bran flakes. Um, but yeah, so she was she's happy with her little toys. Hmm. But yeah, again, that's again, it's a rarity for us to actually buy stuff new. And again, mm. that's not expensive toys. That was like two for twenty. Yeah. Most of the stuff we pick up is either secondhand on Facebook Marketplace or from charity shops. Uh, but it does mean that you know, come Christmas and things, what would have cost several hundred pounds. Mm. We, we, I think, we've got a limit for her for her birthday and Christmas of about a hundred pounds. Um, and so far, she's got some Pocchio toys and a giant doll's house. Yeah. And some felt puzzles. The doll's house is tight. And isn't it? a few other bits and pieces. Oh. And we've still got money to spare. Now, so. can I just say, by the way, I don't know if you've been watching, you probably haven't. Is that it, yeah, it's better. felt like I was getting better. That's 25%? Yeah, there or thereabouts. And I feel like I could punish a lot more of his moves. I'm learning where, where they go to dodge. And I'm not, I haven't got it yet. That big. Oof, two-handed one still um, gets me. But yeah, so it, 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 like I said, it, it. I know obviously kids are expensive and stuff, and I know we spoil her with toys. You know, oh yeah, she's she's, with, she's gonna be terrible toys. when she's um, older. If we keep this up when she's older, she's gonna be awful. But and it's not just us. Obviously, she is the only grandchild for on both sets of grandparents. Oh, here's the thing. So uh, I took Violet into work with me uh, yes. on uh, Saturday two weeks ago, yeah. uh, or last week, can't remember. Uh, she should never been on a train and it was my day off and I thought let's go in on a train I've got a bus part a train pass let's go in on the train together um, I took her in and she went in and the first thing she did was went straight to the doll's whoops doll's house we've got at the front of the shop and just opened it and just started playing with it it's like she's going to go nuts and then I put a picture up on the nanny chat you know the nanny chat um, and the first thing your mum does is send me another message saying how much is it whoops that yeah. was terrible how much? If, if and I said, think, Janet, and I say this is the person who would benefit the most from you buying yeah. this. Don't buy it. If, 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 if we think we're bad for toys, my mum sees her, like, occasionally more, but normally once a week. And she has just as many toys in her house as we do in ours. Yeah. Because my parents she cannot got, help herself. Yeah, my parents have got less, but, like, they rotate them a little better, I think. Mm. Um, mom, yeah, my mum just goes. Your mum does what we everything. do. We've got just a big pile. We rotate some stuff, but not like a lot. Like she's still got. I mean, looking around, I can see probably thirty or forty different items she could grab at any one point. Yes, yeah, we do need to. Start. And she does, and then she puts um, on the floor, and then Daddy spends his nine o'clock tidying up. Yeah, well, I think when it gets to Christmas, we're, see that I can get a little hit. We're going to be rearranging her room so she has a toddler bed. Uh, when we rearrange it, we will be able to get some more toys up in her room. <gasps> oh, he's got a third. Uh oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Um, again, on our week off, we saw uh, my auntie, which again, we haven't seen in ages. Yeah, Marion. Uh, which was really, really nice again. She played really nicely, But didn't again, they? she also bought her a bag of toys. Whoops. Um, so. Oh, including these really good fold out books. Oh, they're called clap box. hands books so they're really nice they're little square books about six inches square quite thick and each page has got here's the bunny touch it's fluffy fur and it's got like a fluffy bit you get to the last page and you open it and it's got like a cool folding thing so it opens up and the whole page kind of folds out and then it's like 12 inch by 12 inch it's big which is fine but every time you try and put them away it never seems to want to fold mm. back up the way it unfolded because she's sat on them and played with them and broken all the folds now so now we have to sit there folding it back in manually by hand to even get a thing uh, by the way Laura this is probably going to be the last run of this one okay um, I think because my throat's getting dry I'm not doing much better on I this need, and I, I need, need to, to- Spend some time finishing up my mummy drug. So. And we need to do the pets, and we need to clean the kitchen, and it's a Sunday night, and we have cleaning to do. Yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and Daddy's tired. Can Daddy's you see what I mean about the, the, the red now? 
I do. Whoops. Okay, one more run, because that was terrible. Yeah, I do see his lips. Win, 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 win. You wait until you see what's inside that whole kissing mouth. You've There's, already told me. Yeah, I have. There's a maggot in there. Bleh. Who? Bleh. Well, at least he can't pick me up and bite my head off because he hasn't got a mouth. Bleh. Or a head. Bleh. I don't know what the maggot moves are. <laughs> Shut it. That's a sentence. Yeah, one more run and then we'll call it, I think. Because okay. uh, I'm, I'm getting angry. I do we need to sit down and do this off camera. And do you know yes. what? I'm going to change the outfit because the defence on it is awful. Yes. Oh, it's a cool outfit, but the defences are yes. just trash. If I can survive one more hit, that will make a difference. Everything does at this fucking point. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm generally happy so far with how this run's going. There we go. Well, what Ooh. was it we watched the trailer for earlier? Black Myth Wukong. Oops! Okay, is that the one with the monkey? The monkey one, yeah. yeah cool. Again, we're both set there. Could not care less about the monkey or really the setting. We're Looking like, at the snow. Nice snow, nice oh. snow. And you're like, the snow is staying where it went. Look. Yeah, the guy kind of like did a slashing move and it kind of left a, like a, a trough. An in anime the, in trough. The, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the snow. And then they were fighting and he did another one and they were layering up and staying where they were. And you're like, oh, nice snow. It was really Could good. I care about a, another Monkey King storyline? No, not really. Enslaved Odyssey to the West exists. Well, I, you know. it's, it, it's going to sound stupid, but I don't really have any interest in those stories. Because A, there's been so many along the same line. And B... That's kind of how Dragon Ball started. That was very, very loosely based on the monkey mm. yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. And you're like, uh, I think of, think of something new, yeah. please, please. But yeah, it looked pretty. It did look pretty. I'm Ghost Rider. I was bored waiting for you to talk. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching episode 77, I think. Um, on the next episode, that big bitch will go down. But you need I need to change to... the hats. I need to change everything. Change your life. Um, yeah, the next episode will be, I'm going to go away and fight that now for 12 hours. Okay. Um, I don't feel bad about that. That I'm, it, I'm not it, in a bad it, mood about it, that. It, it feels it, achievable. I, I've done better on that first run than well, I did on the other guy. to be fair, you have fought that same guy a I'd few fought, times now. No, this is only the second time. This is only the second oh, time I fought this guy. The big gut. To be fair, the, the big beasts like that will do the, the same. Um, yeah, I just need to get the rhythm of it. I'm getting there. I think the the watchers will agree. I'm getting there. Getting there. I'm starting to learn with them, but I, there's a few stomps and stamps. Get there don't. quickly. I'm trying. And no, not there's... too quickly, because then you're going to be like, "Hey, it's Dark Souls free." You're going to be like, "No, nah. no, nah, it's fine. Everything in its own time." Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. It's always a pleasure. I've had a good time. Have you had a good time? Okay. I don't even mind dying that much. I, I feel like I had fun there. It's okay. Yeah, I, I don't feel like this one's hopeless. Okay. This doesn't feel like the Loran Dark Beast where you walk in and die. Yeah. I at least can get a few hits off before I die. And that's progress. 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 See you all next time. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Laura's yawning. No. Do you want to try that again? No. No, I'm doing it again. That's bye it. bye. I said no! <laughs>